Hello everyone. As you can see the following question, consider the data set with six data points x1, y1, x2, y2 and so on x6, y6 where x1 equal to 1, 0, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6. They are given and the labels are given by y1 equal to y2 equal to y5 equal to 1 and y3 equal to y4 equal to y6 equal to minus 1. Here the question is a hard margin linear support vector machine is trained on this above data set then which one of the following set is a possible set of support vectors right. So we need to analyze it. We are having four options. We need to analyze that uh, which one of the following set is possible right so basically to determine which set of data points can be support vectors in a hard margin linear svm we need to understand which points lie on the margin boundaries of the separating hyperplane in a hard margin svm the support vectors are data points that lie exactly on the margin boundaries that is they satisfy the following condition that uh, w into xi plus b equal to 1. Basically, these are the points for these points that is on the positive side of the margin that is on positive side of the margin and w into xi plus b equal to minus 1 for points on the negative side on the margin, right? So the separating hyperplane is defined by this equation that is w into x plus b equal to 0, right? So we can write it like this uh, equation w into x plus b equal to 0. And basically this is the equation and based on this equation, we can say that separating hyperplane is defined by this, right? Now, this is for positive side, this is for negative side. Now, margin is given by the distance of the closest point. That is, support vector is margin, which is defined by distance of closest point, as you already know, closest point to the hyperplane, right? So, just a second. So, let me just scroll down. We need to analyze each and every option one by one. So option A is X1, X2, X5. So if you know X1, so X1 is a 1, comma 0 and uh, X2, X2 is a 0, comma 1, right? As you can see, X1 is 1, comma 0, X2 is 0, comma 1, X1 and X2 and X5 we are having that is uh, 2 comma 2 that is 2 comma 2 right it is also labeled now if you can see here x1 and uh, x2 and x5 they all are labeled as 1 they all are labeled as 1 right so if x1 and x2 are on a different quadrant and x5 is relatively far from that quadrant or basically far from the origin they might not be all the margin that is basically they might not be all on the margin of the separating hyperplane so this option may not work if i choose option b x3 x4 x5 then again look carefully what i am doing that the x3 so x3 is 0 minus 1 and uh, x4 is minus 1 and 0 and uh, x5 is 2 comma 2 so basically this x3 and x4 they are uh, they are labeled as minus 1 and x5 it is labeled as 1 right now in this case if you can see for support vector machine this is option a which is closed this is option b so in the case of support vector machine to work in this case the positive and negative support vectors need to be on the opposite side of the hyperplane right and this set mixes the label this set is mixing the label and may not necessarily satisfy the margin requirement thus we can also cancel this thereafter option c is x4 x5 
so if you can look on x4 that is option c uh, it is minus 1 comma 0 it is labeled as minus 1 and uh, x5 it is 2 comma 2 it is labeled as 1 so this option includes support vector from different classes right but not enough points because three or more points required to fully determine uh, the hyperplane. So it may not be sufficient condition and on that basis we can reject it. And then option D uh, that is X1, X2, X3, X4. However, all the three previous options have been cancelled but still let's look that X1 is uh, 1 comma 0 and uh, X2 is uh, 0 comma 1 right so in this case if you will see they are labeled as 1 and uh, x3 which is uh, 0 comma minus 1 and uh, x4 x4 which is uh, minus 1 comma 0 it is minus 1 so this set includes support vector from both the classes 1 and minus 1 different classes both the classes and they could be on the margin boundary of the hyperplane right uh, basically just visualizing the thing like that and there can be possible chances are there they can be on the uh, margin boundary of the hyperplane so this set has potential to be the correct choice since it includes support vector from both positive and negative classes so in the first case uh, it doesn't belong to both the classes here in option b it belongs to both the classes but the reason is that uh, we require these on the opposite cases right so if you will go with the map then 0 comma minus 1 so 0 on x axis and minus 1 so it is one point here and uh, minus 1 and 0 minus 1 on x is okay 0 minus 1 is here that is 0 on the x axis y is on minus 1 and uh, minus 1 and 0 minus 1 and 0 will be on this so we require this on different point right and one other is 2 comma 2 that is 2 comma 2 is here so basically the thing is that in option b that this sex sets are mixing the labels these sets are uh, mixing the labels and uh, due to which uh, we can say that uh, hard to hard to get the margin requirement and in option c due to insufficient data but in option d if you will write 1 comma 0 that is on x axis 1 y x is 0 this is the let's say x1 x2 is 0 comma 1 so this is x2 and uh, x3 is 0 comma minus 1 that is 0 comma minus 1 so it is x3 uh, and x4 is minus 1 comma 0 that is minus 1 comma 0 just we are visualizing so in this case the hyperplane could be like this this could be the positive class and this could be the negative class and similarly yes this is the negative class and this is the positive class right so that is how we can just visualize option d is the correct answer for this right okay